Let's review how to subtract numbers when we have a whole number and we have a mixed number. We're going to have to borrow. So here, I'm going to set this up as negative 6 plus 3 and 2 fifths. And I know that I'm actually subtracting since I'm adding two different signs. So I can't take away 2 fifths from 0 fifths understood zero fifths there. So what I'm going to do is borrow one whole from my negative six and it becomes negative five. And I'm going to take that one whole and I'm going to add it here. So zero fifths plus five fifths equals just five fifths. So basically I've changed this problem to negative five and five fifths, which is the same thing as negative six plus three and two fifths. And the reason I chose to work with fifths is because my number three and two fifths, that was the denominator for two fifths and we need to have a common denominator. Now I can subtract five minus two gives me three in my numerator and I keep my denominator. Five minus three is two and I have more negatives than positives. Next let's, let's look at a problem where we have a fraction and we have a whole number. Since we have different signs here, we're going to have to subtract. And it's always the big number minus the little number regardless of the signs. To help you understand, we have zero as our whole number when we're working with negative four sevenths. So this is really working with the problem five minus four sevenths. Well, five doesn't have a fraction, so there's an understood zero sevenths, and I'm using seven as the denominator so that we'll have common denominators. So since there's no fraction, I can write the fraction as zero sevenths. Well, I'm going to have to borrow here. So I'm gonna take one away from five, which gives me four, and I'm going to add it as seven sevenths to my fraction, which just gives me seven sevenths because zero seven plus seven sevenths is seven sevenths. So I actually have the problem four and seven sevenths plus negative four sevenths. And we're subtracting since they're different signs. So seven minus four in the numerator gives me three and I keep my common denominator of seven. So I end up here with four and three sevenths and it's positive because I have more positives.